Happy Wednesday, YouTube! Today is the day we conquer the castle, and not a moment too soon. Two days from now, Yukiko would die and the game would be over, so this is cutting it close in my opinion, but I had to budget as much time to social links and other things as I could. But we're finally gonna get down to it. Damn it, elevator! Darn it! Put it on the board. I'll get you next time. Let us detour into the Velvet Room. I want to grab Ku Sith. Not for the dungeon, but for furthering the social link with Yumi of the Sun Arcana. It doesn't hurt to have another persona that is near my level in case I have to switch things up, but I don't foresee him getting much playtime in this dungeon since I have Ouroboros. His abilities are mostly support and debilitation, but his strength and agility are nice. Plus at level 11, with growth he gains one fourth experience even if he isn't in battle. I am the great Kusith, in my greatness I have come to serve you. I don't know why he's going on about greatness. Ku Sith is like this Scottish Grim Reaper. He comes to pick up souls for the afterlife. Supposedly, he would let out three howls that could be heard for miles, and if you didn't get out of the range before the third howl, then you're done in like Scarecrow from Batman. You get feared to death. Glad he's on my side. You'll notice that I nabbed some extra experience points on top of the social link bonus. Every day there is a chance for fused personas to gain some extra experience or abilities. Sometimes we have to fulfill a certain condition, sometimes fusing anything is enough. We can check these conditions and results in the fusion forecast. I won't be trying to play the fusion forecast that much till later months. For now I don't really need it, but if time, uh, if you time your days out, you can make the most of that and get far ahead in terms of persona strength. Dungeon time! Back on the fifth floor, I'm gonna do a quick house cleaning before moving on so I can get a tiny bit of EXP and cash. Let's see what we got on hand. The terrible, terrible twins. Look at how small they are. They're so cute. They can't do anything to me now. Even though we got the weakness, Holland doesn't even care. Three damage, smack a dack a do. Go on down. Do work, that is level 12. We're moving along nicely. In the chest, we have a pinwheel. That's an item that allows me to toss it up and deal some wind damage. Nice to have. Contrarian Kings. Remember these guys? Remember how much shit they gave me? Well, you can forget about them. Easy. You know where it goes from there. Oh, my old friend Slime. Now that we have space for him, I can finally bring him back. He's, you see, he's only my friend when it benefits me. Oh wow, that stands against everything Persona is about. I'm sorry, Slime. Chie and Yosuke at level 12. I want them to get to level 14 so that they can work the boss over. In this room, a gaggle of goons. More like a handful of hands. <laughs> Switching to Kusith, like, what am I doing? He has a fire weakness, and these guys have Agi. Oh, I got that basic attack damage, though. This should be pretty straightforward with Bufu. Oh, boy. Got that SP greed. That's gonna bite me. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, but red like a John Grisham novel. Down we go. Alright, not, not so lucky that time. Still gonna go for those attacks. Chie's getting grilled like those steaks she loves so much. The irony- Oh ho! Put the pop before the snap crackle there, didn't ya? I can't remember the last time I've seen an enemy run out of SP. Switching back. Excellent use of the Kusith. I'll go back to Ouroboros. I'm gonna make sure this guy is as dead as Zed. Go with the skull cracker. Ba boom! Oh god, what's gonna be next? Eh, oh, oh, it's just the dice. Yeah, you know how that one goes. Made some ignorant mistakes there, but the cash was well worth the damage, and I don't mind extra stress if it means saving SP. That's a fair trade with me. Moving on. Chest key in the chest. Sort of redundant. Floor six, here we come. This is where the enemies ramp up in difficulty. A couple of the ones here are involved in quests that we'll be doing next month. There are a number of quests that require you to return to completed dungeons to fetch a item that's held by a specific enemy. Problem is, none of the enemies drop that item till you take the quest, which is kind of lame, but it does motivate you to spend more time in the TV world and accumulate experience, and I am certainly not against that. What do we got here, Floda? 
smack this goon out of the sky. Ah, new blood. A certain magical magus. I'm going to be hunting these guys in a future quest, so it would be good to find out their weaknesses now. It's not the safest venture, but I like to test the weaknesses of new enemies as soon as I meet them. That means I could very well be healing them with spells or having magic bounced back in my face. I'm a loose cannon, but I get results. Boom. It isn't Garu or Zeo. I elect not to waste any more SP this battle. I'll find their weaknesses eventually. No need to waste SP I might need to kill something. Is that not a Taishi? Why, yes it is. Can't retain any more personas. <laughs> well, it's been nice knowing you, slime. Goodbye. Is that the burning beetles? Why, yes it is. These guys look like the type to shrug off physical attacks, so let's conduct some magical research. How do you like lightning? Yeah, they like it just fine. I think I'm gonna give this one a kick. Oh, okay, very bad idea. He's got an anti-kick mirror. Oh, Yosuke! Ooh, we live in... He's going for Chie. Ooh, but red like Harry Potter. Well... I don't think I have this guy's weakness. We'll just go for another Zeo. Take that one out. Uh, I didn't want to have to use this value medicine at this point. But what are you going to do? I can't let him knock out Yosuke. Oh, red like the red carpet. <laughs> going to go on him. Garu. Is that going to be enough? Not yet. Oh, he had full health. Just hit him with every magic imaginable. Is it Agi? It's probably Agi. It's not Agi. <sighs> if I had just used Bufu like before. Alright, Chie, from now on, you're Bufu in first. That could have saved me a lot of stress. But whatever. I learned my lesson. If I keep making the same mistakes over and over, that's. I might just be crazy. You know how that one goes. What? More of them? <sighs> okay, well. I'm not gonna be stupid this time. Let's just get over to Chie and Bufu him down. Love o Lee. See you later. That's why they call me the Iceman. Funny thing, they don't actually call me that. That's level 13, do work. And level 11 for Arobas. Resist Dizzy, that is a wonderful ability. I would want that on any persona to stave off losing turns. Dodge Ice and Resist Dizzy, I've got my weaknesses well covered. Yosuke levels up too, and he's looking like the best right now. I'm liking his stat growth. He's just all around good. Sharp student, I want that at level 12. That's Oreo's final ability. Yes, he's called Oreo now. My friend was giving me crap for not pronouncing Oroboss right. Oroboss, that's, there we go. What is this, an evil table? You don't gotta worry about evil tables, because our victory is set. <laughs> oh, so breezy. Worth mentioning, that table is of the Magician Arcana, and floating above him are a sword, a wand, cup, and pentangle, which are representative of the four natural elements in uh, the tarot decks. Those four symbols are featured with the Magician card, typically, so uh, I guess there's your occult knowledge of the day. I don't know how people feel about tarot cards. I don't believe in fortune-telling one bit, but I do like the artistic and like metaphorical nature of them. They interest me. Hmm, how to segue off this topic. <laughs> Thank you, saxophone senpai. What do we got here? Ice suppressor. I'll give that to Yukiko till I can afford something better. And now, ah, our good old friend, Mr. Avenger. This game adheres to the video game trope, or at least the RPG trope, of having bosses become either recurring enemies once you get to a later point in the game you know you've uh, surpassed that boss so far that he's just a regular enemy now this guy does not like physical attacks so we're going to use a physical what am I doing she just never learns her lesson let's just pretend that she's being controlled not by me Let's hit this guy over and over with magic this is how the boss fight went last time I don't know if this version has poison skewer <laughs> no luck with the smack a dack a do. And again, a lot of trouble could have been saved if I just boo food. 
I'm a boo fool. Get it? Oh, right, I missed that pretty bad. <laughs> Whiff. Oh, dice. Never mind. It might as well they can hit of all the enemies to hit me, I will take those guys. That's fair. Now for these guys, heat balances. They, I just remember uh, being in this situation, they have a lot of magical nonsense going on. I wasn't sure what their weakness was. Should have just focused on the physical attacks like I'm doing now, trying not to bother with magic. No oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 we live in. Yes! GA, thank you! Oh my god, everything I said about exploiting friendships, I take it all back. Oh, that was too close. These motherfunkers almost took me out. It would have been so lame. I got killed by scales. Oh, Chie, you angel, you gentleman and scholar. Well, the, the lady equivalent of gentleman. I guess that'd be lady. Use an Agi? What are you, some kind of idiot? I think it's time we tip the scales. <laughs> oh. Oh, it got a little dark. I don't, I don't know where that came from. Well, we won. Huh. Shuffle time. Oh, that's a new persona. I want that one. I ain't gonna get that one. <laughs> Whoops. That's the first time I've screwed up with that. Won't be the last, I assure you. Thanks again, Chie. All right, level 14. Okay, it was worth it. Way too close of a call for, uh, <laughs> for my comfort, but okay. Level 14. I can dig it. That Sonic Punch, that's gonna replace Bash. It uh, drains a little more HP, but does more damage. I can love that. We got to Moe too, yes! That's Mabufu, we are ready to face the boss. So let's clear out any more enemies on this floor and move on. It looks like they got the jump on me again. Oh, it's the table, you don't gotta worry about it. The table, what? What the hell? Yosuke, this is a table! You're gonna pay, damn it. <laughs> He's gonna pay. He's pissed, what am I doing? Oh, I'm letting the motions get to me. Oh, I go oh almost used Zio there. That could have been stupid table. My victory is set. That's the puns so great I use them twice. Still have more chest keys than I'll ever need. Got a bead and a rhyme that restores me to full health. I'm gonna want that for that boss. Head up to the next floor. Saved the game real quick, and now things get interesting. There waits the Red Queen, off with your head! That bird in the background already had its head cut off. I haven't had a chance to bring this up before, but those doors make the weirdest sounds. It sounds like like um, like when you're opening it, you're squishing a bird or something. Oh! Oh, that's that's interesting, because Yukiko's all about birds. You're, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> I jumped the gun on that metaphor. Late? <laughs> Nonsense. How many days has Yukiko been in here? Wandering? Probably starving? I don't want to think about it. I'm a good person. I foregoed rescuing her so I could play basketball and join a drama club and eat food with broske. I am not good person. Aw, oh, she knew the magic word. Come on. I gotta help now. <laughs> It's a little more involved than that, Teddy. Wait, does that include me too? It might be the haircut, GA. Yeah, Duh, the, the third one's, one's going to be me. me. For the remainder of this video, I'm going to do that. Teddy in a Pooh Bear voice. <laughs> no, I can't do that. That would be, that'd be unbearable. Oh, ah, so that's how it is. Well, you know what? I'm happy for you too. I hope you find a lifetime of happy. Yukiko uses fire when her name what? means snow child. <laughs> Chie uses ice. You are each other's weaknesses, but you're also your strengths. Would you look at that gameplay based metaphor? Thank you, Atlas. You gals and guys are the bomb. Stop. Stop making fun of my friends, Princess Peach. You're Princess Bitch. I want to take a towel and lay it across your face. I will suntan all over you, skank. Oh, this game is rated M, by the way, so my language will uh, will be according. I'm glad we got this straightened out 17 days into the playthrough. Buckle in, folks. I'm just going to make silly voices for the next minute and a half. 
Oh, you will take me away. Please stop. stop. I have no hope if I stay. I have no hope if I stay. And you'll carry some your son, my ass. Hopefully someday my Wesley will come and we'll read a book together and find evil. I am Chie Matoy and you killed my mama. I'm gonna buy a cake. Nope, before you ask, I don't know what I was talking about there. <laughs> it's hard to do these dialogue scenes every day, man. Run out of stuff to talk about. What can we talk about right now? Oh, Red. In the anime, uh, they gave a reason for Yukiko to like Red so much. So there's that. Oh, wait. <sighs> you just had to go and do that now, didn't you? Making trouble. We'll come back to that anime thing. Whoa. Uh, it's building um, more and more. Uh, mm, no, I am uncomfortable. Might be time for a disclaimer. There's a lot of pent up sexual energy in these shadows, and uh, I'll leave it at that for now, but this is only the beginning. They are uh, closer to the inside of self after all. Ho oh, ho, hello, Bordo. Told you she was all about birds. She wants to be free like a bird, but she's caged like a bird. You are so right, Teddy. We have to rescue Yukiko. That chandelier could fall right next to her. Not to mention it's doing nothing for the feng sway of this room. I'm gonna call up my friend Sergio. He's an interior decorator. He will make this place sparkle. Busu! It's the red bird of unhappiness. Ooh, 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 ooh. Say the line, say the line. I am a shadow, the true self. How did it come to this? I'm fighting a transmogrified bird woman for charity. I don't know how I got here, but I sure am enjoying it. Buckle in, gals and guys. This is our first big boss, and we're gonna kick her ass for friendship. Ready? Fight! To. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap this bird bitch. Spank her, horsey. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure how Yosuke is going to hear my orders with those headphones on, but he needs to know that Chie is going to be trashed by Negayuki's fire attacks, which targets everyone. The last thing we need is to have the caged bird sing an extra song. Though she does tend to pull a defensive strat if she gets a one more. Not the end of the world, but avoiding big damage is the number one priority. Oh, -ho! how about that? That is how you start a battle, Chie. Red like a red-bellied bird, bitch. Smack a deck a doo! Time to lay out my strategy, which I've been planning since Dungeon Crawl 1. Holland is on the attack, Yosuke will support with healing and evasion boosts, and Chie will buff Holland and Mabufu the Prince, which will appear soon, so she can get two attacks in on both targets. We want to avoid Yukiko's high physical damage and keep Chie from getting knocked down. I did my homework on this boss. Now she's going to summon her charming, comma, the prince. But the prince is more liability than aid to Yukiko. He has weakness to ice, which Chie can capitalize on to score two hits on Yukiko with Mabufu. Other than that, we're gonna leave him alone. Oh my god, he looks like, uh, he looks like Mello from Death Note. 140 damage, I can love it. Let's give some insurance HP to Holland. He hasn't been taking any hits, but uh, a couple hysterical slaps will drain your health. Now for the main event. Double hit with Bufu, and give me one more shot. I finna hit you again. Digging that double hit. And now he's dizzy, he loses a turn. I love it. Everything's going according to plan. Trying to make me mad? I'm trying to make you dead. Making you mad is a bonus. Here comes the big fire attack, will Chie get hit? Oh, yes! I love it when a plan comes together! Hysterical slap! We've already got it below half health, this is going perfectly! I did not think things were going to be going this well, I love it! Heal up, alright, the hit evasion's down, but that's okay. Eh, since the prince is down, what am I gonna do? I'll go for a skull cracker. We might be able to finish her off next turn with the amount of damage we're doing. Huge! Alright, the prince is back up. And, oh, okay, well, first little hurdle there. Ooh, okay, the big damage. The prince, 
His uh, AI doesn't usually use Diorama. It's kind of a rare thing. He'll usually go on the attack as well. So that was uh, that was an unfortunate instance there, but we made up the damage pretty quick. There's a full health for you, bud. And let's do it again. I'm a repeat offender. I am Chie, and I will knock you all down. Oh, this is beautiful. We're like, I don't need like four or five rounds in, and Yukiko is almost down. E okay, well, we can't expect everything to go perfectly. See, there we go. Now he's got his ice resistance up. We're not going to be able to get the double attack on him. Going for the slap again. This might be enough to take her out. Not quite. This is where I start to play it a little bit more safe. Looking at the damage now, I could have just gone in for an attack with Yosuke and Chie and probably finished it. I'm always more of a safe than sorry type player when it comes to Persona. I've had a lot of stupid deaths that have formulated this rule, so I buff Holland again, though I could have just gone in with Chie. Hoping to God this guy doesn't go for Diorama, he doesn't. Uh, he shouldn't, that's, uh, Diorama's a rare thing for him. Ooh, but a crit on Yosuke is gonna get a one more. A Matarunda, glad I raised that attack. I may be at normal attack now, but that's gonna be enough to clip your feathers. Too little, too late, Big Bird. Things were starting to turn in your favor, but that early lead was enough to seal this one away. Woo! I am gonna toot my own sax. <laughs> that was a solid boss fight. I am really happy with how that worked out. For once, I didn't seem like a total noob in battle. That's level 15, do work, make money, eat cake. Jiraiya's getting a level two, and I think we can expect one from Chie. I am most satisfied with how that went down. I love when a plan comes together. Uh, now that I look at it, Chie's stat growth isn't that bad either. She's actually got decent magic. And now for everyone's favorite segment, you read, I ramble. We're gonna be going on like this for another eight minutes or so. After today, I don't know if there's a half hour episode for a long time. No, uh, no. I'm not. no, my hair doesn't part at the end like that. Your myth is representing me. I'm gonna get my agent Thurgio. He's gonna sue your ass. He works two jobs because he's so efficient. And now back to what I was talking about earlier with the anime. In it, Chie and Yukiko meet as little kids and Yuki Yukiko has like, she found a little puppy or something and she couldn't keep it so she was gonna get rid of it and then Chie shows up and makes funny faces and takes the dog for herself and then tells Yukiko she looks good in red. So there's that. Chie, you could probably wipe more tears if you took your glasses off. In fact, you might be able to get at your eyes that way. This is a this is a revolutionary idea, but I think you're just gonna smudge up your glasses like that. Or push them into your eyeballs. She's really going at it. Oh, this dialogue is like an after school special. I love you, Persona. You're so meaningful and thematic. Cut it short. Kiss and make up, girls. You've got your whole lives ahead of you, and so do I, and I'd like to get back to it. Oh, good. It was all our faults. I look forward to the wedding. Don't accept yourself already, silly Sally. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me, too. I understand. I like how the anime handled Yukiko's arc. They added this backstory of how Chie and Yukiko met and made their friendship more immediately sympathetic. It was cool. Oh, Konohana Sakuya! That is the probably the coolest persona of all the ones in this game. Yosuke's close second. May he, nah, maybe he takes the first. I don't know. They're both pretty cool. Back to the anime. There was this. Uh, there was another backstory that plays out in flashbacks during the exploration of the castle, where Yukiko finds this little bird on the street and nurses it back to health. When the inn gets super busy closer to the present time. The bird escapes, uh, gets out of its cage, and flies away, and I think that was a, a really strong metaphor for Yukiko's pent-up feelings. You got more out of that um, than I think you did in the game. It made her plight more apparent, because we really haven't had much time with her to get what her deal was. Of course, the, the anime had the benefit of looking at the game and strengthening it, like it was uh, like another draft of the, the game itself. And the game by no means does any character wrong. But wait till we get to Risei, though. She had a really great uh, pre-kidnapping episode in the anime. 
The ending of it was kind of meh, but that's months off yet. We got plenty of time to talk about that. Teddy? No new clues. No new clues. Teddy got the blues. Question! I want to propose a question to the audience, maybe you guys who have played the Persona or are more familiar with some of the other voice actors' work can tell me this. Amanda Wynn Lee, does she- I'm just curious, oh, by the way, none of these options matter. I'm just curious, does she have a lisp when she delivers lines, or is it the recordings in this game? Because the reason I was doing that weird voice before was because the lisps are really strong in this game. I feel like it's the recording, but on Yukiko in particular, it feels especially strong. I'm just- I just would like to know for knowing's sake. I think it's the way the voices were recorded in this. Reminds me of Final Fantasy XII a little bit, how they were like very, I don't know, garbled and very mechanical almost. Teddy's afraid of us leaving. Yeah, you idiot! What is it with Yukiko's mic? Her S's sound so Stop it! Whoa. Be ye cat or bear, Kuma. Uh-oh. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Oh, Japan. Why you gotta be nasty? Mascots can't make it with girls. Ah, you're giving me the creeps. Me too. That's it. You're stuck here for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh no, that reminds me. You guys ever heard of midgets versus mascots? Well, uh, you didn't hear it from me. But it's a movie where five midgets compete against five mascots to win one million dollars. None of these dialogues matter. They have to perform pranks and complete wild gross out challenges. It's the kind of movie that would make your truck driving uncle who's also an underground Satanist blush. <laughs> it's a sort of jackass meets um... Jack Gas 2. It was Gary Coleman's last film, so there's something redeemable. Huh? I laughed. I don't know if I was supposed to. <laughs> but going back to Teddy. Japan ain't the only ones who deliver awkward bestiality jokes, let's be fair. Remember that TMNT movie no one should be watching so it doesn't get a sequel? I don't think I was the only one who was freaked by Mikey constantly trying to get it on with Megan Fox. Then again, she didn't turn him down. Hey, if they're both into it, I would be a bigot to stand in their way. Yeah, we can go over it some What's everyone talking about? Oh, we're outside. This is a good time to talk about the post-rescue parts of the month. If you end up rescuing the captured person uh, long before the month is out, or before the at least the day limit when the game would be over, then they are going to, you know, stay away from school until a certain point in the game. That's going to be, I think, two days from now. It's at the end of the month that Yukiko will return to school. So it kind of fits that we saved her right now so she can immediately sort of come back, even if she is exhausted. What, Dojima? Is he still alive? I don't know why I would question this, but he's starting to fade into legend the way he's never around. You know, well, Dojima was a legend before, but he's becoming like a legend legend, like a long time in the past. It's Mr. Beanhead! Oh, he finally introduced himself. Wow, I really did jump the gun on announcing it. So that's Adachi. Johnny Young Bash. He also has a bean-shaped head. He's going to tell us that the police found Yukiko, but she doesn't remember anything. How'd she explain oh, that? Makes me think of Breaking Bad when the Great White Walt covered up one of his disappearances by showing up naked in a convenience store like he had mental issues. <laughs> Pick any option. We all know already. So catty. We don't want Adachi, or more importantly, Dojima, to know we've been doing investigating of our own. Of course, there really isn't anything stopping us from demonstrating to the police how we can get into the TV world, but I'll accept this contrivance, granted that the rest of the story is pretty great. Such things can damn lesser properties, not Persona. Kids on their own is kind of a recurring deal. You just accept it. Something else is going on. Oh, sweet chocolatey base guy! Dojima just punched him! And he lived?! Adachi must be a cat or something because that punch should have taken at least eight lives. On the other hand, what kind of example are you setting for your daughter, Dojima? Hitting people and swearing? What are you, an NFL player? Ooh, topical. Too soon. You just want me to take her off your hands, don't you? 
You're gonna adopt a dachi, make him your new daughter. What kind of a father are you? But yeah, I bet he'd really hurt your fist with his bean-shaped head. And Nanako bringing us back home. So natural. She's so talented. She's the greatest one here. So you do have a softer side. Oh, the Adachi, do you want to die? Don't taunt the Dojima. He already punched you once and that wound is never going to heal. Your bean-shaped head will never be the same. In other news, it looks like dinner's going to be lively for once. Wow, that was pretty harsh. I've enjoyed the meals before. You know what else I've enjoyed? Completing this dungeon! We did it together, high fives all around. Also, thank you guys so much for subscribing. That equals donations towards the Youth Outreach Services of Chicago. At the end of this in-game month, I will do a report on our standings as far as uh, we've gone with donations so we can see the fruits of our labors and then get that money shipped off to the right place. Tomorrow we are going to go to drama practice and the day after we're gonna have a celebratory dinner. It's gonna be great. Thanks for watching gals and guys, have a happy and I'll see you tomorrow.